The unsolved mystery of Mount Kailash that abodes to Shiva. The literal meaning of the Mount Kailash is precious jewel of the eternal show. It is located near the river Indus, Sutlaj, Brahmaputra and Karnali and it is considered to be the most sacred mountain. First, the shape of the mountain is a mystery and some Russian scientists claim that it is not a mountain but rather a man-made pyramid. The mystic force of aging, it is said that people who climb Mount Kailash age really quickly. In recent years, people have not been able to reach the mountain. Also, it is said that the time that humans take to age, two weeks takes only 12 hours on the mountain. The theory of Twin Lake, there are two lakes surrounding the mountains, Manasarova, the god and the Rakshastal, the devil lake. People say that Mount Kailash stands as the balance between the two and symbolizes that we have both sides. Snow falls in the shape of Om. If you don't know, Om is the vibration of the universe. It is close to Kailash Parvat. When the sun sets and shadows start casting on the mountain, the shadow from the shape of the Savastika. The sage who reached the top, there was only one person who reached the top of Mount Kailash. He is the Tibetan saint called Malarepa. It is odd how people have reached the peak of the highest mountain in the world, Mount Everest, but they haven't reached the top of Mount Kailash. Mount Kailash is said to have been abode to Lord Shiva for the past 21,000 years. There's even a Shiva's face out of the mountain. The reason why people can't reach the top of the mountain is because it keeps changing position. This seems to be really the true holy mountain of the world. Hello everyone, this is part 4 of Holy Mount Kailash trekking and this is also our last day trekking around Mount Kailash after walking for 3 days and today we only have 12 kilometers till to Tharjan which will take only about 4 to 5 hours walking and after that I'm going to drive to Lake Manasarova to enjoy hot spring which is only about 35 kilometers from Tharjan Actually, nowadays we have also good hotels with hot shower at Tarzan, but I really prefer to go to Lake Manasarwa to have hot shower in the hot springs to clean all my sin after visiting this holy mountain because Lake Manasarwa is also a holy lake for many religions. So first in the morning, before we start today's vlog, I also would like to recommend you that at Zulupuk we also have an authentic monastery which is called Zulupuk Monastery and inside this monastery we have lots and lots of antique statues and this is a holy monastery of Buddhism.
and after visiting this monastery then we are going to start our two days trekking of 12 kilometers from Zurupuk to Tarjan and I hope that you will like it and please follow with me and now I'm going to start the 12 kilometers of trekking and this is the last day and the ending point will be the Tarjan and after 8 kilometers we will visit the first tea house which is called Zongdu tea house and there we can rest and have tea and then still have to walk more like 4 kilometers and it's also optional from Zongdu tea house you also can take buses but if you take bus it is not the full core okay and <coughs> and today will be the most easiest part of the trekking and all the roads are like mostly equal and not really hard I hope that you will like it please follow with me and now it's 9 a.m. and we really don't have to start that early like yesterday morning like I have woke up at 6 a.m. and you know I have to start at 7 a.m. because I have to walk for 22 kilometers but only today we have like 12 kilometers to walk so that's why 9 o'clock is like perfect time to start today's trekking Here I must have to join the main road and here at Zurulpuk they are having lots and lots of constructions and in the future it will change to a big town I guess. As you see, this is the road that what we will have today and right now I feel like a big painful disease has been cured by a doctor after crossing Dolmala Pass. We have to walk all the way to the edge of that mountain and from here we couldn't see any faces of Mount Kailash until you reach to the Tarchin town. And they have sculpted it Om Mani Padme Hum onto this rock and this is the mantra of Buddhism. I was actually wishing to see the east face of Mount Kailash but I couldn't see because the mountains are so high to see Mount Kailash from here. To make this tracking easier at Kailash, I always bring my iPod to, to listen the music and it actually really helps and I really recommend you guys to bring something to listen you know because it is really long way actually. And when you are in Tibet, actually you will see lots and lots of colorful prayer flags like that. And it is mainly for um, protections from the nature and for good luck. And at the trekking, we will actually see lots and lots of prostrators like that. And the one thing that we have to know is they are not praying for themselves, but they are praying for every living beings. <laughs> Ah, 
哦,不要。Since yesterday I've been following this river and this river was actually getting bigger and bigger and I'm not sure where it joins but I'm pretty sure that it will go into Lake Manasarova and the water of this river was coming straightly actually from Holy Mount Kailash. Slutty, It looks really tired and sleeping on the grass and it's really good idea to have a rest like that. That part of the road is the most dangerous part of the road of today's tracking. And finally from here we can actually see the Lake Manasara which means we are close to our destination. What's up, Keeping stones like that means to have a better luck.
he must be exhausting after prostrating for 15 days and he couldn't stand properly and if you are visiting holy mount kailas you will see lots and lots of prostrated like that and it will be really nice to give them the painkillers or bandage ah. after walking eight kilometers it was really easy you don't have to be hurry it's really smooth road easy and after eight kilometers we have one beautiful tea house and i remember that they sell a tasteful yak meat tea which is so nice which is really helpful uh, to have a relax and you can hear you can relax but it's pretty early for the lunch so you can have tea and snacks and then we still have like four kilometers more and also it's an optional that bus can come over here and they will take you back by bus if you don't want to walk uh, more four kilometers so full Cora it means like you have to end where you have started mm. and the smell oh, makes you hungry let's go and see It's full of local people. Wow. Oh. Oh, here's the wall of the tea house. Oh. 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 <laughs> so there you can see Tartan town and from this tea house we have still more four kilometers to walk and then the full core is finished I'm close to my destination And here under those rocks they have painted Om Mani Padme Hung, the mantra of compassion. And you see right over there, you see the mountains over there, it's called Lama Namni. And below this snow mountain, there we have Surakshastal and Lake Manasarawa. Finally, I have finished my 56 kilometers of holy trekking around Mount Kailash. It was hard, but it is really, really, really good to do this holy trekking. And from my bottom of heart, I welcome all my friends from all over the world to come to Tibet to visit this authentic holy mountain. And also, if you like my video, please don't forget to subscribe it down below. This is Jamyang. Welcome to Mount Kailash. Love you guys. And now I'm gonna drive to Lake Manasarwa about 35 kilometers and as I told you this morning about the hot spring which is at Lake Manasarwa because I haven't got shower for that many days at Kora and I don't want to have shower in hotel even if it is better than the hot spring because after getting lots and lots of bless from Holy Mount Kailash only way to clean my sin is to go at Manasarwa hot spring and having bath there even though the facility of the hot spring is not that good but I prefer to choose it as respecting traditions and this hot spring is a little bit different than the other hot spring that we have in Tibet it doesn't look that much natural but the most important is the water because this is the original water that comes from 
hot spring. The temple is a, everything is awesome, and people are saying that it's really good for altitude as well. And just come and enjoy it. After all, thank you so much for watching my video and this is the end of trekking around Holy Mount Kailas. And tomorrow my trekking is to do the inner core of Holy Mount Kailas or Nandi, mainly to touch our Holy Mount Kailas. And about inner core as the law of religion, first you must have to make 13th outer core of Holy Mount Kailas and then you are permitted to go to inner Kora. and detailed informations of Nandi or inner Kora, I will explain to you in my next video especially about inner Kora. and will be so so happy to show you the vlog of Nandi or inner Kora of the Holy Mount Kailas because actually many people can't visit it because of time of staying here at Holy Mount Kailas or the law of religion anyway thank you so so much once again and please be free to ask whatever you want to know about tibet or holy mount kailash and also please don't forget to subscribe my video if you like my video and see you at nandi kora this is jamyang guys welcome to tibet we are the one that can show you original tibet good night and tashi delik from holy mount kailash